Hey YouTube, it's time for a battle royale. So my friend Cami came up to stay and we've been playing on my sim quite a lot and we thought why don't we have a proper shootout because I'm a racing driver and she is a pro sim racing driver. So rules of the challenge are quite simple. It's at Spa Francorchamps, it's a race track that I know pretty well, I've raced there. Cami knows it pretty well. It's one installation lap and then two flying laps. And if we don't like the result, we'll just have to live with it, really. <laughs> We're actually filming this on New Year's Eve, so I think whoever comes last has to buy the first round of drinks tonight in the pub. Deal. Deal. And I'm just gonna say, this is a kind of fairly simple challenge because Cami obviously has a really advanced setup on her sim at home. My setup's quite simple, something I'm planning to upgrade, but for now, you know, we're just gonna do this simply. It's gonna be fun. Who's gonna win? Come on guys, get cheering for me. Good luck Cami, don't go too fast. <laughs> Run down to Bruxelles. Tricky corner here, you've got to get the car to rotate. If you can't get rotation at Bruxelles, you're, uh, you're really struggling and waiting to power down through to No Name Corner, which I think is actually called Jackie X Corner now. So, for this challenge, we're using a BMW GT2 car. It's worth saying we've not really played around with the setup that much, we just kind of jumped into it. Cammy complaining about problems with lack of downforce, a misfire. Um, she's, she's, she's already ab abusing the track limits quite intensely. Nice bit of rotation there from Cammy coming through Corporal Frere, looking very composed into Stavlo. I feel like I don't want to distract Cammy by making her talk. We were talking quite a bit and we both made quite a few slip-ups, <laughs> so when you're driving a race car in real life and you've got your race engineer talking to you over the headphones, the first time you experience that it's actually really difficult to get used to it because you're trying to process what you're doing with your hands and feet and everything else with the car whilst also thinking about stuff and formulating a reply to the information they're telling you. Generally, when we're racing, we'll try and wait till you get onto a long straight or somewhere that you've got time to um, actually just focus on talking to the person as opposed to setting the car up for a corner. Looking like a very good time here from Cami. 223.129, I think she's gonna be happy with that. That is my best time on this sim, on this setup. There we go. Yeah, she's pulling over, wallowing in her own satisfaction <laughs> for a moment, bathing in the golden light of doing a 223.129. I can't right. celebrate yet, I don't know how good that is until we <sighs> see Charlie's lap. It's, it's gonna be a challenge, but I, See what I can do, folks. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> May the best woman win. So Charlie's gone for a slightly different cockpit for you. She's using the bonnet for you. Three seconds to find a tail light in the Really? <laughs> The car just has chronic understeer. So at the moment, obviously, I want to ask Charlie all questions about how this compares to the real world, different techniques you'd be using to rotate the car, how it will change from real world to sim, but I also don't want to disrupt her because she was very gracious and sort of didn't want to disturb me whilst I'm driving. So I obviously don't want to do the same with her. Not that it's actually helping <laughs> Hang my head and 
shame. Well driven still, Charlie. Oh, I did really badly. I, look, I will have um, a side this evening. I, I did do a 25 yesterday. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I did, officially. Too much pressure, but yeah, good skills from Cammy. Just turning up and uh, showing me his boss on my own stem. <laughs> You're not coming to my house again. Well, what can we conclude from that? I'd say, Cammy, you're very consistent on the sim, whereas I probably need a bit more time to get in the groove and yeah. dial in some good laps. Uh, you just turn up and kind of like put in the laps very consistently. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to take away from that, apart from a, a hiding on my own <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to sim racing, maybe I've gotten used to some subtle subconscious tricks of treating it like a computer game, things that I can do in the sim that would never work in the real life. Mm -hmm. And you're bringing real life skills that obviously they're not translating quite so well onto sim, you can't feel the car beneath you. I've gotten used to racing visually mm -hmm. and you've gotten used to racing with all your senses. So yeah. in the simulator, you're at a disadvantage because you're having those senses removed. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, this is a very simple sim compared to what I normally train on, um, like at Cranfield mm. Simulation and places like that, which is obviously, you know, something that moves with VR and all kinds of things going on, like 11 degrees of freedom. And yeah, but it, it you know, it was a fun thing to do today. Yeah, and I've got good. to learn not to be invited around somewhere and then beat that person on their own sim. You, but you're never coming again. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. Jeez. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that anyway. It was a bit of fun and obviously like nothing too serious. It was actually was very serious. But as always, um, come check out my videos. I post on Wednesdays at 8 a.m. And subscribe, please share my videos, please comment in the box, and I'll see you all guys soon. Bye. Yeah. Happy New Year. Oh yeah. Actually it's not New Year when you get this. So. <laughs> Never mind. Have, hope you're having a lovely 2020. I hope you're having a great start to 2020.